Welcome back to South Bay Ford. I'm Brandon. I'm going to show you all the drive driver assistance settings in this XLE 2021 Explorer. And why I believe this is the perfect video is because this is a base model. So any time you're going to get a Ford, look for these settings and most likely they'll be there. I've done a video on the lane keeping assist and I recommend you watch that. And the next one we're gonna go through is the pre-collision assist. So this one, we can read about it. And this is gonna give us a heads up. Wow, okay. Luckily I've never seen that before. Uh, sometimes I do have to admit it does glitch out and maybe there's dust in front of a sensor, it, it will, tell me that I'm about to collide with something and I'm not. I, I guess that is one drawback. But the reason why I think this is weird is that huh, active braking. I just don't understand how this is going to work because I don't have front sensors. So is this an only front sensor feature? If you know that, please let me know because I've never had I've never had any run-in with this. So that is unique. Rear view camera. Camera delay. Why would you want that? You want it real time. Because when you put it into reverse, there we go. Well, let's see what delay does. Put it in reverse. That is like a split second difference. <laughs> so we'll take that off. Enhanced parking aid. So that might give us the lines. Wow, I'm so glad that did it. Ah, okay, look at that. So it gives you that little display. So this is with it off. And then this turns on all our sensors and tells us how close things are. And once again, this is an XLE 2021 Explorer. I only have it in the back. A bummer about getting some of the newer explorers if you want to get a 2017 or 2018. The sensors are standard on the front. That's why I do miss my 2018 Explorer. Rear view camera, we just did that blind spot information system. Let's read about that. Text vehicles entering rear blind spots. This one is tremendously useful. Using this one in tandem with the lane keeping assist, it's gonna make driving on the freeway super easy safe most importantly so you can find that little marker right there and this is gonna this is gonna highlight and this is gonna turn yellow when someone is I'd say right there you see that line right there right there right there boom that's when it would turn on so it's a car length behind you and to the left which makes a lot of sense because so this is my head you got this big thing. And that, I do have to say, my friends, is one drawback about an Explorer. These, these columns in the car are pretty big. So that is a quite, that's quite a blind spot right there. I do find myself having to, to reach back there, but I do feel more confident when that is turning on. I don't have to crane my neck. I can keep my eyes on the road. That's in my peripheral. That is very cool. And that's on both sides, very important. So we are gonna keep blind spot information system on. Trailer sway control. Reduces trailer sway. Okay, I guess it tightens the tow hitch in the back. Huh. Well, that's what it does. I've never used that before. And I've never had to tow anything, but for those of you who have had to tow, let me know if that actually helps you. That'd be really cool. Parking aid. Let's read about it. Alerts of objects in the path. Well, this is kind of like the pre-collision assist, but for our rear sensors, which I do have, and that is standard. That's gonna help me park. Look, that's a parallel parking job and I guess it's gonna give me that highlight when I'm reversing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look 
both ways and I'm gonna try to reverse park. I'm gonna purposely try to get close to this car. Don't do this at home. There it is. There it is. So that just tells you how close you are to objects. This is a perfect example. We get close to that hedge. And right now it's kind of freaking out because it sees that guy. And that is not a hedge or a bush. That is solid concrete. So I'm glad that that is showing that it is very close and it is warning me. That's pretty cool. So that definitely works. Blind spot information, we did that. Trailer sway, parking aid. Cross traffic alert. We'll turn that one on for sure. I need that one. All right. So we'll move back up and I'll show you how this works. Hopefully we can get a car. Oh wait, here we go, here we go. How exciting. That is, that's what it is. You can see that little arrow where it's coming from. Very useful because that is our blind spot. How exciting to get our cross traffic alert on. This one is very cool. Notifies when in it, inattentive. And this will tell you to take a break, get some coffee when you are swaying too much on the freeway. You know, like Lightning McQueen's trailer truck, Mac. He's swaying too much and we all know what happened next. So if he had that driver alert, it'd be game over. Lightning McQueen would have won much earlier. We wouldn't have had to go through all that drama. And when you're using lane keeping assist, it uses the same monitors. It will see how many times you're, you're swaying and how many times it will give you that alert plus aid. Once again, you can see that video in our playlists of tutorials. But uh, it will use that information and let you know that it is time for a break. And I love that. Well, that was all our driver assist settings, and I am a big fan of all of these. The only thing I would want is that pre-collision assist because I do not have front sensors. So I would like that for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Brandon. We're at South Bay Ford. How's it going? Peace.